every Ghanaian soup has egg. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? If you have any comment, just comment. <laughs> It's a new trend right now. If you have any reply, just reply. <laughs> and don't forget, if you have any like, just put a like on it. And right. if you have a subscription, just oh, subscribe. Just keep subscribing. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi and... And it's Francis right here. Today I'm with Francis and we're going to be talking about uh, different cultures. I'm from Uganda and he's from... Ghana. So we're gonna talk about things that other people who are not from Ghana or who are not from Uganda find somehow weird in our culture. Francis first. Right. So in Ghana we have the rights of growth and the teenagers when you have a certain age you go through a certain process. Mm -hmm. And in Ghana for the ladies it's called default right. Mm -hmm. And that's when the girls start developing and the ceremony is being spread out across and they are what topless are you kidding? they are totally topless and say. even when the breasts are started yes they are naked so so you see how they are developing and it's weird but it's also funny and it's also part of the culture and the men get to choose which one at some point you want to marry but when they have already seen your your nakedness some yes. years or do they choose right there or after i want to understand this um, they don't choose right there at the but, spot mm -hmm. but some families also do like uh, pray let's say pray uh it's weird our modern cultural practice they do pray order yeah, then they said that okay, that one would be my future wife. Definitely. Or After seeing your small tits are coming. After out. seeing how it's developing, you. Become At what age do they even do that? So it starts from 13, 14. That's when you are starting to develop in the teen. So what if your breasts come come out at nine or ten? And you can go through that. Uh... Well, I think you can when you are starting to develop because it's a yearly thing and it's all girls who are developing and girls probably do that but what do they get out of that? yes so the reason for you to get it to do it is because we have an egg we boil one egg mm -hmm. and if you can swallow one full egg you pass through the right so if you can't no, you have to no uh, but if a chocolate will die on this full egg cooked egg or? it's a cooked Egg. One big. Is that why every Ghanaian soup has egg? <laughs> I don't know if I should call it soup or stew. They have boiled egg everywhere. everywhere. Oh, yeah. Egg. Is that why? That and is And these people will be chopping it because my dad, when you make something, then you cook a boiled egg on the side. I'm like, ah. Oh, wow. That is true. Every Ghanaian is very into Actually, eggs. I do not know about that. No. I think it's very interesting. Right. But the girls, they don't get bullied by, like, for example, when they do it in a, they do it in a community, like a southern village, and then they have everyone come. So when they go to school, they don't get bullied or anything? Well, it's become part of the living. So they are accustomed to it. So it's normal. It's no normal. Bullying, nothing. Right. But it's very strange for every foreigner that comes and experience like a movie. I'm telling you, I'm African and this is the first time I hear about that. It so is. To be honest, to be honest with you, mm. something like that in Ghana is my first time to hear about it. True. Yeah. And it's very, very out. So do you have sisters? I did have a sister who did went through that. I do have a sister who went through that. So that's how I got the, the vibe to it. For myself, it wasn't new. It was kind of weird to me in the beginning because mm. I wasn't told. Yeah. I had to experience it myself. Mm. And getting someone from the other side of the world coming to visit to see like yo isn't a child, you know, instead of you know coat of words with child. Girls, wow. you know, yeah, so I'm, I'm really deep thinking right now. <laughs> I'm right. deep thinking because does it still happen now? Like, no. because everyone like think 2023, mm -hmm. every, all the traditions that go on and all that. But do you think it still happens now? It do happen. 
because you know it's a culture a heritage it's part of the union and it's not all the tribes in yeah. Ghana mm -hmm. it's the Akan tribe where they get to do it and they get to show how Puri purified ah like being purified yeah it shows how well you kept yourself until this stage of um, transition yeah so what it's if like, you, what if like how do they know that you have actually kept yourself what if you reach that stage of purification right English and 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 you are so you are supposed to be a virgin and all that or, that is or the, it doesn't matter well that is the the idea behind it mm -hmm. just to transition yourself into the woman who you are becoming mm -hmm. yeah so as much as you can keep yourself to that age or yeah. to that transition mm -hmm. or you can also be but if you know how to you know modify it yeah yeah so what if one girl like, refused to do it like they refuse but at that age you can't do it yes like, yes. How, 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 how can you yeah. You can't. You can't. But now you can. What if some, some stubborn girls say, no, I don't want to show my nakedness in, on, at the city square or anything like that? Yeah. Can they be like, it's okay, or your parents will have to, you have to do it? Well, so in the olden time, from what the age I was, mm. you really didn't have so much of a say yeah. about what you want to do. Yeah with whatever it is that is being prevented mm. prevented okay. English <laughs> presented yeah so but now in the modern age in the mm. modern time they have, they have quite rights to say or just don't show up I'm yeah. very I'm very surprised that they don't get bullied which I think is very good right. that the guys it, it shows that even the boys are matured and right. they are very understanding i think it's a positive thing mm. and actually i'm really deep thinking right now right. and i think i would love to visit which tribe is that is that a can try i can i think i want to visit I'll take you a i really want to visit right. which like in the year which month do they normally do it so normally it's like april <gasps> during my birthday oh, should i make a trip to that place during my birthday Spot on! Hey guys, this is an amazing trip. Y'all should follow up. She will go to downtown in Ghana and check it out on her birthday. What do you say? Guys, if you subscribe to my channel right. and we get um, 10,000 10, subscribers That's before cool. my birthday, my birthday is in April. If we get those uh, subscribers, 10,000, mm. I'll do it. I'll go. Spot I on. promise I'll go. Actually, I'm really deep thinking right now, but I'll go. Right. But thank you so much for sharing now. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And please, if you have uh, any comment, just comment. If you have any comment, just comment. Yeah, if you have anything to say, just put it in the comment section. That's it. That's yeah. it. There you go. <laughs> I had... Did you hear what she said? If you have any comment, just comment. <laughs> It's a new trend right now. If you have any reply, just reply. <laughs> and don't forget, if you have any like, just put a like on it. And right. if you have a subscription, just oh, subscribe. Just keep subscribe. <laughs> we will need your subscribe. <laughs> your subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> we need. We need your your subscription is the ultimate for this to keep going on and you to see these interesting episodes. I agree so guys like and subscribe and please comment if you want to see Francis back. This this is the hype guy. If you want to see him back, please like comment if you have a comment. <laughs> keep putting it all in there. Take pictures out here. Okay, bye bye.